I couldn't imagine being LeBron James or Savannah James getting the call and saying, hey, your son's in the ICU. He just suffered. His heart just stopped. That's like the worst thing that a parent can hear. Bronny James is 18 years old. If they didn't know he had a chronic illness prior to that, to it, right? And this was just a one-time thing. This was their first experience with Bronny James having heart problems. Imagine that phone call. You think, oh my God, to lose a child is so detrimental. And Vanessa Bryant recently had to go through that when she lost her daughter, Gigi Bryant, right? And so LeBron almost experienced that, that loss. I'm glad that he's recovering. I wish him a speedy recovery. And obviously there's going to be some more investigation into why he had a cardiac arrest because young people shouldn't have cardiac arrest. Young healthy people shouldn't have cardiac arrest, right? Whether it's a chronic illness or whether it's a result of the jab, if they're going to find out, but regardless of what it is, it's definitely going to impact Bronny's ability to continue playing basketball. That is a possibility that Bronny James might have to say goodbye to the game that he loves. That would be so hard for him and so hard for LeBron because their whole identity, their family, basketball has given so much to the James family. LeBron, the very idea of playing with his son, Bronny James, is what's kept LeBron going after he's won all the race to win. After he's won the scoring record, four championships, MVPs, what's next? Oh, I can play with my son. And for you to hear now that Bronny might not be able to play with you, you guys got this close, but he won't be able to play with you because he's having heart problems. That's so sad to hear. And then there's also Bronny's side of it. Imagine your dad that you look up to is the greatest at what he does and you follow in his footsteps and you're actually good at what you do, right? And you, you have an opportunity to show dad, to show the world that, hey, I'm just as talented. And all of a sudden you're hit with this debilitating news that you might have to say goodbye forever to this game. It is so sad. I can't imagine what Bronny James is going, especially being 18, right? Just graduated high school. I couldn't imagine going, to, like he could, literally could have died. He was minutes away from dying. Now that he's gotten over that, he's gonna have to go through sitting down with doctors and them telling him you're potentially gonna have to say goodbye to the game of basketball. And I couldn't imagine what that's going to do to a kid that, like that, right? And I know fans are, Fans are gonna feel like they're, they've been cheated, but this is someone's life and it is very important. And you have to think about his family. You have to think about his parents, his brother, his sister. There's more to it than just basketball. And currently right now, we don't know what the cause of the cardiac arrest was. That's gonna play a crucial part in how this goes on and what goes on next, right? Does he keep playing on? or he can't because he has a condition similar to LaMarcus Aldridge and he has to say goodbye to basketball early. Or is it due to the jab? And now we have to have a different conversation. We have to hold pharmaceutical companies accountable. Why were people taking this? So that's where we are right now. I'm just glad that Bronny James is good. It would have been the saddest thing if LeBron James lost the son. Like he came this close. And honestly, I wouldn't have blamed LeBron James if he decided to retire from basketball if this had gotten worse. As the effects of the jab start to come more and more towards public light, as they start to affect more and more prominent people, we're gonna eventually have to have the conversation of what these pharmaceutical companies do.